Good morning dear students today we are going to do exercise 5.8 of chapter 5 measurement let's start dear students till now you have learnt about milliliters and liters and you know small quantity of liquid is measured in milliliters and larger quantity of liquid is measured in liters let us find out in which unit shall we measure the capacity of given things take the right option milliliter or liter students this is a water bottle and its capacity is 1 liter and we will take liter for those things whose capacity is equal to this 1 liter water bottle or more than 1 liter and we'll opt milliliter for those things whose capacity is less than 1 liter now look at this dropper students numbers up to 1 are written on it it means its capacity is 1 milliliter and it can hold 1 milliliter liquid and now with the help of this dropper we will measure the capacity of this spoon now i'll pour 1 milliliter water in the spoon with this dropper then i'll add one more dropper and keep on adding till it's full here i added three droppers it means 3 milliliter so the capacity of this spoon is 3 milliliter so we will take milliliter look at this mug it can be big or small but as it is small in size so it can hold less than 1 liter water in it it means its capacity is in milliliter so students we will take milliliters students now we will check the capacity of this syringe according to marks on it the capacity of this syringe is 3 ml it means it can hold 3 ml medicine so we will take ml students i have a jug here students can you tell me what is the capacity of this jug is it in ml or liter look carefully and observe its size it can hold more water than this bottle so its capacity is more than 1 liter and we will take liter students now look at this big water bottle and it is clear from its size that it can hold more than 1 liter water so its capacity will be in liter so we will take liter students i have a glass and we can easily estimate its capacity as its size is smaller than this 1 liter water bottle and it can hold half liter water so we will take milliliter to check the capacity of this bowl i'll pour water from this water bottle students now you can see this bowl cannot hold 1 liter water in it as some water is left in the water bottle so its capacity is in milliliter so we will take milliliter now we are going to do question number 2 write liter or milliliter according to capacity of given things students as you can see the size of this medicine bottle is smaller than the water bottle so its capacity is less also its capacity that is 200 ml is also written on it so we will write milliliter in the blank now look at this eye drop vial it is very small so we cannot write liter for it as we use liter for large quantity you can compare both water bottle and eye drop vial so we write milliliter for it students now look at this syringe the capacity of this syringe cannot be in liter as it is small in size it cannot hold 1 liter water so we will write milliliter for it students now look at this oil canister the capacity of this big oil canister is more than this 1 liter water bottle so its capacity is 5 liter 
टूडेज पैस क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स हेयर सम ऑब्जेक्ट आर गिवन एंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑब्जेक्ट हैज द मैक्सिम कपैसिटी नाउ स्टूडेंट्स एज वी नो द कपैसिटी ऑफ सिरेंज एंड आई ड्रॉप वाइल इज ऑलवेज इन मिली लीटर्स एंड द कपैसिटी ऑफ दिस ग्लास इज लेस देन दिस वन लीटर वॉटर बॉटल सो this 1 liter water bottle has maximum capacity so the correct answer is option c it's time for homework now students you have to do all parts of question number 1 and 2 of exercise 5.8 thank you